I'd like to do a little video here of this section of the screen to uh, show what happens when you run test tones through the radio. All I'm showing is the spectrum scope, the mic setting, the compression level, and the uh, screen over here you get when you click on the set. And then I'll be playing a little bit with the uh, TBW. You'll see that uh, TBW here. I'll be uh, modifying that as we go along here. So to begin with, I'm going to go into transmit mode. And we have the spectrum scope set to the center. I'm at 28.5 right now. And I've set this up to plus and minus 5 kc. All you got to do is modify this grid. And it'll go up around to 500, back down to 2.5, and, and then leave it at 5. Now, right now, this is my audio as it looks. And let me increase the modulation level. And you'll see that the uh, amplitude goes up pretty high. And if I do... Uh, something else with the compression uh, hello one two three four four three two and I can change that as well and uh, you need somebody else to tell you if it sounds any good and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate tones with that tone program that I talked about and I brought it up here and let me try first a uh, 800 Hertz tone let's see what this looks like now as you can see there's a lot more RF being generated than just 800 Hertz. That's because the level is turned up quite a bit and uh, we're kind of splattering a bit. If I turn down these levels, compression and what have you, I can get it to look a lot better. Now, the audio coming out of this phone may not be perfect. Let me try a different frequency here. I'm going to turn off the 800. Try the, uh, nine, the 1900. That low frequency down there may be just background noise. Uh, we've got a microwave oven running and what have you in the background. Now, let me do two tones. I'm going to do that one and the 800. This is kind of what it should look like with two tones. If you crank this up too high, you start to get what appears to be an awful lot of extra things going on here. Too much uh, RF, generally speaking. And of course, if you run the modulation level down to nothing, pretty well eliminate the audio. Turn this back up again, turn this back up. I'm using the right mouse button to change these. Now this is another interesting finding here. If you notice down here on this set screen, I have the transmit and a sideband. This is set to wide. Now these numbers, 100 and 2900, you can set them anywhere you want to. And when you come back to wide, it'll bring those back again. Now, as you see right here, it says the transmit bandwidth is wide. And let me go ahead and hit the uh, TBW and watch what happens to this setting here. It goes from wide to mid to narrow. So let's leave it at wide for a second. Let me move this one out of the way. And I'm going to change it. It's now on wide. See down here, wide. I'm going to click on TBW. If you notice here, that went from 100 to 200, and this went from 2900 to 2700. Click on it again. And this narrows down my transmitted audio to around 500 to 2500 hertz. So that's one way to modify your audio. You can change the bandwidth. Let me go back to wide. Now what happens if you increase the bass? Watch this. And I'm going to decrease the treble all the way. This gives us a little more twist and that background noise down here is starting to come through on the transmitter noise in the background of the kitchen. Alternatively, if I reduce the bass, 
all the way and increase the treble all the way, I get twist in the opposite direction. Where the lower frequencies are less, the higher frequencies are higher. This is what this will do for you right here. Let me put it back to neutral. Zero on transmit base and on here. And that's not bad. I, I can't eliminate this uh, background audio in the kitchen very well. But uh, that's what happens when you modify it. Now the transmitter went off the air for a reason. And that's because, let me turn these off. There's a watchdog timer on these uh, various radios that if there's no real activity like modifying the frequency or uh, doing something serious with these knobs, just playing with these, it thinks that you're kind of locked up or hung up. Uh, and these things are being generated locally in RSPA1, but what's happening at the transmitter site is it doesn't see much activity that has to do with CIV modifications of the radio, the frequency and the band and what have you. So it actually shut off. This thing went from TX back to RX on its own, which is a good thing for you to set up, is there's a little watchdog timer and it says CIV timeout. I think it defaults to off and you do want to set it. I think I have mine set to like uh, three minutes, which is probably how long that video was that I'm showing you here. So here's what you can use with the phone. They have one also for the Android version, similar to generate tones. And it's a good idea to mod to uh, check your levels. Now, the other thing to note here, by the way, is that my transmit level is down here to zero. There's no, there's no RF, excess RF being sent. There is some, it's way down in the dumps. I'll turn this off again, but there isn't much. Uh, you know, when you turn this up all the way, you're going to get a lot of RF output, but you can test the driver stage of the radio and leave the final amplifier section out by just mucking around here with this RF power. And uh, that works too. Now, another last thing here, I have a wheel mouse on here. And if I, if I rotate the wheel, I can change these things just by moving the wheel around. And uh, I don't have to actually try to left mouse click and right mouse click. I just uh, use the wheel mouse to uh, change the various things. Here's that's audio, what have you. Okay. I hope this helps use that uh, tone generator to tune up your transmitter, at least get used to seeing what you're seeing here on the screen. So if you uh, close talk the microphone, uh, apparently this mic is picking up a lot of extra bass, but if you notice here that I'm, uh, this is 5KC, I'm 1, 2, 3KC wide maximum. I could narrow that down by switching this from wide to middle to narrow. And uh, now it's uh, it starts at about 500, which is where it should, and it ends about uh, two and a half kc above the carrier, and that's why that's showing up there. So you could narrow down your sideband signal fairly easily with uh, these settings. Good luck with this. Uh, have a happy New Year, everybody. It's uh, New Year's Eve here in Southern California. This is W6FCC, and good luck to everybody this year and. Uh, Hope you all do very well. Bye-bye.